Hello everyone, it's great to be back on your screen for the last edition of Metrofile in the month of April. I hope April was kind to you. Well, if not, then you have another opportunity to make it right in the month of May, which is just around the corner. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And as you enjoy it, be mindful of sensitive images while you enjoy it. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chikwasi Oyelude. Okay, let's begin with this beautiful traditional wedding, bringing two lovely cultures, Yoruba and Isoko, together. Now, it took place in Uzere in Isoko South, local government area of Delta State. Now, I present to you Baderi Adewale and Orevogene Otobu. It all started eight years ago when Prince Badiri Adewale and Oreva Otobo met in a library in London where they were both studying. At that time, they were just casual friends, but that friendship later became a courtship three years later when their paths crossed yet again. And from then on, the beautiful journey of love began. Fast forward to 2022, Badiri proposed to Oreva Otobo, which quickly turned into a wedding to plan. ceremony means Badiri will have to take his parents, Prince Bodiri and Mrs. Mabel Adewale, other family members and friends from Ondo State and other parts of the country, all the way to Uzere in the Soko South local government area of Delta State to officially ask for Oreva's hand in marriage. And that was the easiest thing for Badiri to do for the one he loves. The beautiful Yoruba culture was on display as they arrived the family compound of the bride. As they step in, they are warmly received by the bride's parents, Chief Guy and Mrs. Augustino Tobo, and other family members. The traditional wedding is indeed a beautiful blend of the Soko and Yoruba culture. Badiri joins them and sits beside his parents for the traditional marriage rites, according to the Isoko culture, to begin. And with his response, the traditional marriage rites begin as they welcome the beautiful bride. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
She has accepted that the father should consume the grain. Please, Madari, please support. Badiri is then invited to join his wife to receive blessings from the bride's father. With both drinking from the same glass, it signifies acceptance as their traditional husband and wife. <laughs> It's signed and sealed, and the couple step out, dancing happily, accompanied by groomsmen and maids of honor who came from both within and outside the country. Amongst them is a member of the British royal family, Lady Marina Windsor, the granddaughter of the Duke of Kent, Prince Edward. Uh, no, 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 it's better than later. Do your own, you not wait for later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are not used to have lines. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A day to remember not only for the couple and their families, but also those who came to celebrate with them. They had barely sat down as they are invited to cut their cake. And um, we pray that it will be a lasting union and a fruitful one. My sister is a very confident, self-assured, smart, beautiful, stubborn, 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 <laughs> lovely person. She is my fighter. She will always be there for me in times when I'm down. And she's there for a lot of her friends. And Bade is a very calm, cool, collected, peaceful, smart, hardworking, and diligent man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to celebrate with the couple in the African way. The bride changes into another outfit and they dance out happily once again. <laughs> Uh, 
This day turned out to be everything they wanted and more. The joy of celebrating their big day with their friends and family in their country meant everything as they let it all out on the dance floor with their friends. for nearly 20, 25 years now. Outstanding guy, he's a gentleman, uh, one of mine and Toby's closest friends. Uh, like I said, I have no problem recommending him as a husband. Um, I have no doubt he'll be a great husband to Areva, fantastic father when the kids come along. We're here to celebrate with them on this fantastic day. So many people coming out and it's a pleasure to share with everybody. So I've known Barry since I was about four years old now. Uh, you know, we've been almost inseparable since that point. And me, Barry and Uche, we've been such good friends for all these years. And, you know, all the people that have shown up today is just testament to his incredible, impeccable character. I mean, one person has come from New Zealand, which is actually, funny enough, the furthest point from Nigeria on the planet to come and visit here today. So that just goes to show how much everybody loves him, and we wish him well, and we, we bless his union. Guests are entertained with lots to eat and drink, as well as music from a live band and other traditional and cultural dance troupes. You know, to have the good things in life, and we want to, you know, have great friends around us like we do already. And so, most of it is going to be just continue to do the same things and just making sure that we support each other as well. Because marriage is very different to a good relationship. You know, you have to be really be there for people and be very committed to making both of you grow. The body is the most kind-hearted soul. He is fiercely driven. He's fiercely loyal, and I said a few words. I think he's just the most incredible person I've ever met, and I'm so happy to now be his wife. <laughs> and who could be more happier than the mothers of the day? Badiri and Oreva have gotten off on a good start and their wish is to live happily ever after. Here's wishing them all the best in this journey. Well, simply beautiful all round. The guests, the colorful attires and most importantly, the couple. Congratulations once again and all the best.